Let's go guys, welcome back. Today I'm going to show you guys how to play Syndra. So I would say this is a all around super strong mage that fulfills, you know, everything that a mage has to do. She provides a lot of damage, great CC, and just scales really well as well. So it's a good champ to play mid if you're looking for a strong mage. That is pretty versatile. So this champ is all about Manipulating the spheres, uh, which you place with your Q. This one. So right now we only have, you know, a point in Q, so we can't really do it yet. But for now we're just using it to hook the opponent. And it's AoE damage as you can see. But when you get like uh, level 2 and 3, that's why you start getting uh, abilities that can manipulate the spheres. So now we can take the E, so this is going to like push the spheres forward and if you hit an enemy champ, it's going to stun them. So this is your hard CC ability. And you can see, like see this arrow right here? This indicates in which direction your sphere will get pushed towards when you E it, right? So it makes it easier for you to see where it's traveling. Another one. So it's a gold generation build that we're using to get gold up a lot faster. Oh, I entered the stun field. Oh, my bad. Terrible. So you can see we are getting passive stacks right here. And uh, these passive stacks, when you have enough, they will upgrade your abilities, your basic abilities, giving them additional effects. And the way you upgrade them. If you hit the opponent with two abilities in a short amount of time, that's going to give you a stack. And also when you put points into your abilities. And when you kill a thing, was it large minions? Yeah, large minions, that also gives you stacks. So it's a champ that needs to, you know, get rolling before she actually does stuff, you know. You want to get the stacks, you want to scale up. So of course, you can get to trade very often, that would be ideal. Oh, that's bad. You see, if you don't hit with the sphere, if you only use your E without hitting the sphere on the opponent, they will get knocked back if they are within range, of course. But not stunned or anything. Oh, whoops, my bad. Actually, troll flashed. Don't get baited, please. I could look for a kill. I accidentally flashed in the wrong direction. Panic flash. And your W, of course, you pick up a sphere. And then you slam it on the ground, and it's going to slow. So it's not hard CC, but soft CC that slows. And this will end up dealing true damage later on when you have enough, you know, um, as a stacks. But that's also AoE, like this jam has a lot of AoE abilities. The only th ability that is single target, that's your ultimate, where you pick up all the spares on the ground. And then you just smack one opponent with it. we do like this then we can also afford to get a refillable potion we have 26 stacks right now and then you also have like that one final uh stat increase and that's when you have 120 stacks then you also get more ap so yes you can really tell it's the skilling champ and also another thing here is the mana that you're getting back when you claim a stack from the opponent, it really enables that, uh, you know, that aggressive play as well, that can reward you. I want to like stay like this, you know, like move around and force the opponent to um, get zoned away. That was a good trade. Okay, we have the ultimate. So as I said, it's a single target Damaging ability, and the damage of this ultimate gets increased by how many spheres you also have on the ground. Important to know. 
We are taking way better trades for now. And this is all you have to do, basically, right? I'm not gonna run into this because I don't see who is in the river. Okay, we'll see the Amumu now. Go on him, if we can get him. Wait for him to CC. If he can knock up, that would be nice. He's gonna die. I want the kill, so I just ult it. We can see that's the ultimate, and as I said, the amount of spheres you have on the ground. Well, I might be dead. Oh, I'm gonna get flash, no? Okay, maybe not. He doesn't have it. I guess he used it in the fight earlier, so it's still on cooldown, I guess. But nice, we got a kill. And see, when you upgrade this ultimate right here with 100 stacks, it's going to be an execute to low HP targets. So I feel like this whole stacking part is really a main reason why this gem is so fun to play. Because it's a gem that keeps scaling up. Alright, you can see we just got that Q upgrade right now, so now we can have two of these. This is actually a pretty huge spike. We can store the Qs, so we can have two ready to go. Makes the trading way, way better. And also when you want to push in general. I don't see the bot, I don't see the Amumu, so I should not be here. Because he's gonna be level 6. And then I just end up dying for no reason. You see the two Qs? They, people don't expect it, you know. And you can also push waves pretty fast. Bro, that's some... That is some int. Like, that's some next level int. He's not having a very good time, but the farm is not too bad, I guess, so... Now we can try to do stuff later when we uh, group up and such. Okay, that's the flash. And if he did not flash, he would have died right there. You see, I don't use the ultimate immediately. I try to wait until I use everything else. And try to get as many spheres on the ground as possible from my, uh, by my Qs. To increase the ultimate damage. I can't so one recall. Also getting free gold with the first strike. Oh my days. Good one. Oh. Nice. Okay, that's perfect. Gonna be careful of Amumu ults. That's why I'm staying a bit further away. There we go. Oh. I'll take that one. Amumu does not have ults. Okay, nice touch by him. Okay. But yes, she has to be really good, you know, it's... She doesn't have high range, that's the thing. It's sort of like a close to mid range mage. So you have to be really good at maneuvering around the opponent and lining them up to stun them as well. But that... that These things will come as you, you know, get experience with the champ. So we get the first item right here, next one is going to be the Cosmic Drive. You get a lot of mobility from these items. And this, of course, similar to like the old Ludens with a lot of poke damage. Lots of AP, mana, ability haste, and that passive as well. So, you know, if you um, watch them, the basic thing to do QE, then W, then you get another Q down. That's like a basic trading combo. I hope it's not a rage crit, but she has DC'd a couple times now, so I guess it's some um, internet problems. I don't know. Now we have all the basic abilities ready, so what you have to do, QE, but even better, if you can hit the first Q on the opponent first, instead of just using it here and then stunning, because that's a lot of extra damage. QE, then you take up a sphere with your W, smack the opponent with it, then another Q, and of course you can go for the finishing. You can also place down spheres like this to zone the opponent away. A 
I don't see Amumu and the pike, so probably could be coming mid. Really important that you pay attention like this, because Syndra is immobile. That is the huge weakness of this champ, you have no mobility. Really easy to punish if you're overextended. So that's why I'm keeping my E for now, because they might be waiting. Because I only see the Jin uh, bot side. So it could be that he's yeah he was here. Oh, he survived. I guess he had like what ten HP or something. See that damage, guys? It's really insane. Just finishing that one item and getting that upgrade on the Q. And also when you have the W, which we got a while ago, now it also deals additional true damage. It's great against tanks and bruisers and anyone stacking MR, honestly. Let's go, bro. See, that true damage, that is ridiculous. Oh, okay, they just uh, gave him a... Uh, Double kill. Bro, none of us are hitting anything. Alright. Got a stack. And I had CP up soon, so let's back off. Not sure what's happening, but to be honest. Like, how does that happen? I think about CPing, but I would not get surprised if this guy has all of his uh, sums up. I should see people probably. Nah, I think I think they died to him without him using anything, so I don't trust these guys. At this point, he already has to stop. But that's a one K shot down, and Sundra is really good at shutting down, you know, immobile champs as well. See the combo right here gives you a lot of gold as well from the first strike. Lot of gold. We almost have enough uh, stacks to get the E upgrade as well. And that's going to increase the width, of course. That's a slow. So, really strong upgrades. Like every single one of them are just insane all around. I wonder if I report my bot lane if they get banned or not. Because I consider this griefing. You're playing two super safe champs with high range and inting like this. As soon as you spawn as well. So I guess Pike might be coming from this side. He is really squishy. I want Jarwin to come here. We can look for a kill on the Pike. I had to make sure I did not get stunned, otherwise I would just get chain cc it. So see the um, huge damage potential you have on this champ. It's so fun, especially also because she scales pretty well, and she has a lot of AoE damage and CC. So it's a champ that can really turn around the team fights. If you play her well. Because the CC, all of it, is AoE. So if you find a bunch of players stacking up in a brush and you hit all of them, it's usually a one fight. And also another thing with your W guys, you can also pick up something like the red buff. Yes, that's also something that you can steal away from the opponent and skull crap and stuff like that. Oh, I am so dead. I am so dead. First time I died though, so not too bad I think. Still of course sucks that I went down, 
I think I did not have a shutdown because we are so far behind compared to uh, that team. Okay, this is griefing. This is trolling. This kind of stuff I would definitely report. I'll TP mid, I guess. Nice, good job. Good job, man. Beautiful. Beautiful. Sell this one, get some HP as well. So not flash on the uh, Mumu. Oh. Ooh, damage. If I get a stun on him, he's dead. Okay, that's the flash out. Let's go. He would have been dead otherwise. Oh, okay. What is that? Okay, we got the Vagar. And that's a shutdown as well, so I would say that's worth it. You see, you have no mobility, he drops down the cage and you are pretty much dead. You are not escaping, so positioning is really, really important. Why is our Lux leaving mid? Just ult the wave. Pike is going top. That shot down on Jin, that would be so insane. Like if I get it or if Javan or Olaf gets it. Because they're actually doing well. Like our jungle on top, they're doing pretty well. I don't mind them taking a shot down, but you know, if, if Misfortune or the Lux got it, they'll be pretty trolling because we know they'll not be able to use their lead. No flash on him. I, I just gotta push because I can't make top in time. An enemy has been slain. And they're actually winning, nice. And Misfortune is back on duty. The chance to push. By cannon. Yikes. Look at the damage though. Nice, let's go. Let's go. Bro, I feel like I could perma flashed. And now you just back off here. You see, this mobility feels so great, guys, when you have to kite. The thing is, you don't get cancelled when you press your Q. Because there's like no cast animation, so you get to move around. So every single time you move around and you hit your Q, you also get that bonus moon speed, so you can kite around, make sure you don't get hit by skill shots and such. Now we have this ultimate upgrade as well, so it's going to be execute to low HP targets, so you ne will never see them running away with like 10 HP. It's going to be a straight up execute. Oh, I guess that was some uh, miscommunication. Hit the gin. I think we should have gotten the Jin though. He has a. Did we get this guy? Oh, look at the damage. That is insane. Nice. Straight up execute a man. He's out. So, that's such a fun champ, champ to play, guys. And right now. She is absolutely insane in solo queue as well. Her win rate is like 51 or 52 percent, so she is an S tier at the moment, guys. Absolutely insane champ to play. I could be in this brush, so you can check with the queue because you have a first strike, so it's gonna pop. I want to say that next ult for the Jin, because I can one shot him with one combo. He does have barrier. Barrier does not work against Execute. As long as I put him to really low HP, should be fine. Be nice to get this one. Definitely also need a Sonyas at some point because of all that all-in they have. And they have a their entire team 
Just somebody who wants to like run you down straight up. Check this one. If they're doing it or not. Yeah, Misfortune is trolling. Always going on the opposite side of where the rest of the team is at. Risky uh, way for me to engage from this side. But then again, Jin is also up here. Oh. Man, that's one. That was one W. I cannot answer the fight. Such a dumb fight to take as well. They can see I cannot enter. What? Oh my god, Jesus. Holy smokes, man. I'm just getting perma flashed by everybody. Holy smokes! And ults it. You see how easy it is to uh, punish a Syndra? Too easy, I would say. They could even be doing the Baron right now because we actually don't have an answer to this. Uh... Then again, we play with these rats on the bot lane. I probably think it's definitely a misfortune's fault they're losing. Lux is not trolling at least. I think I'll go bot here because I teleport so I can fight whoever is coming. If someone is coming. We have no vision bot side. The Vegar. I wonder if he keeps pushing or not. Nope, he doesn't. He also flashed. Guess that's a Baron gun. Ideally, you wait for your Q to come up. Like the second Q as well. Oh, what? You messed up. <laughs> oh, come on, man. You can't miss this. Oh, what are these lock souls? What is that? He's just perma using the, them on repeat. Alright, we have the death cap. If we cannot one shot the gen with a full combo, it's GG, so. We gotta do it. But he's really, really fast. So if he flashes our E guys, then we are dead for sure. After this, if they don't get a lot of MR, I'm probably just gonna go into Sonya's. I need it so much. The only thing that's surprising me so far is that he has not left. <laughs> Usually I feel like they just uh, rage quit. Okay, bro. Nice steal. Ooh, that could have been a kill. That could actually have been a kill. I walked up a bit earlier. Max rank alts. And I have a bit more XP. It's gonna do it? Come on, get over here. Finally, get out of my side. They have so much cast potential as well. Like, wow. Look at all these spheres, guys. And you can knock all of them, and it's going to create like a huge zone of CC. Place them on the ground like this. And the opponent will not be able to step up. Gotta help them. And Mumu's down, so it's the correct call. Just has to be careful of the gin, like the poke he can do. I'm gonna stay here and try to help. Okay, one hit. Come on, block the. Nice, let's go. Got level 16 over that one. Mumu's up. I'm gonna go bot and defend. 
I'm not gonna TP to that tower even if it was healthier because he drops down the cage and then I just die no matter what so just give up the tower if you die it's probably GG's enemy killing spree and don't walk through here he could be camming in the brush also here like to check with just AE I need to get the gen. What's the champ with lots of mobility? And look at that. Flying away at top speed. At some point she should certainly, you know, get flagged by the system, no? No way you can make it this obvious and then still end. That's that's a hit. I cannot walk up. I think these guys are a bit delusional in how they don't understand how a mage is supposed to play. Olaf is spam pinging because he thinks I can just walk in melee range like he did. That's not how it works though. That's not how it works. Also why I only died a little this game. It's a lack of, you know, ability to think. It's why they just run in like this, they die, and then they're spamming teammates. Because they don't understand anything. Oh, I think that would have hit, actually, if it did not expire. Oh no, a moon's coming. Am I gonna get sniper? I am so dead. I am so dead. Pike got the shot down at least. Ah, uh, lol. Okay. <laughs> We're getting a tower. We should get a tower, no? Pretty hectic game. Oh, I guess. I guess we're losing a, a tower. It's unreal how nobody has been able to reach the gin yet. That's because we are the ones who are forced to play defensive and they can walk up. They're the ones who have like these assassin type gems. You can just straight up all in whenever they want to like the Amumu and the Pike. Last item. So MR coming in as we can see is of course it's going to be the Crypt Loom. It's just all around way better. You get a little bit less magic pen, but you get ability haste, you also get this healing passive. I would say it's worth it. Uh, this should definitely buff the void staff or give it more magic pen. But for now, this is definitely um, the magic pen item you should be going for. I want to get a kill on the gin, but I feel like he might just flash. Just a static belly deals any damage. Maybe I can find him here. Let's hope it's not warded, otherwise I'm dead. Rip misfortune. Death number 14. Just got a camp, I guess. Wait for him to step up. But even when he gets one auto attack in, he just zooms around. Oh no. Bro, I had to do so much just to survive. Holy smokes. Tries to get the gin. Actually tries to get the gin. Even while they were chasing me. Um, I'll go top, I guess. 
had three drakes as well. Can they kill him? Yeah, I guess. Looks like he's dead. I need to use everything on the Jin. Like that's our only chance. I feel like even if we get the Jin, Jin, we still have a chance to lose because the Vega is also fed. But we get the Jin. It's going to uh, allow us to take something huge. I don't have Sonya sub yet, and I'm pretty sure Pike is here. That's why I'm calling for my team to come. Messaging. Oh, he's so lucky, man. Bro, look at how I had to single-handedly hold the most fit player on the team against an assassin as well, and my team is still losing. Like, what? Is happening. I even walked up and sacrificed myself to cancel uh, Jin's ults. Oh no. Am I gonna hit by a W? It's a good CP actually by the Olaf. But I'm gonna die. We at least stop them from being able to get the soul. And this guy almost got his third item. 33 minutes in the game. Man, if there was some sort of like anti-shield item for mages, I feel like that would be so cool. But I feel like that was the one time the entire game where we have been close to taking out the Jin. We are not gonna get that same chance again because I don't have my flash up. But really look at how I positioned during the fight. It's also up here when I was fighting the Pike and the Jin and actually won it as well. Positioning is so important. Like your movement, micro movements. You can do so much. That's the only reason I survived as well, because otherwise they would just have destroyed me. I survived and even got to push Jinnah out of the fight and also got a kill on the pike. And also tanked his ignite. We need some vision here and then I should be camming over here and try to... Uh, snipe him. But even getting the Vegar as well. He has this one, so a bit harder to get, but... Oh, they should have turned on him right there. That was a free chance. I don't think should have smited that one. He's full built. We should not be here. One MMO ult and we are gone. Like, we are actually gone. Hmm. Well, she said, no mind. Bro, he actually died so much with a. Uh... He actually died so much with a cleanse. These players are terrible. All of them. Nice. I don't have flash, I lost like one second. It's pretty funny, they always have everything up and still kill my teammates, but... At least this game went to like late game, so you kind of see like how we also play her in the later stages. But of course you can't do anything about um, this team and this AD carry especially. That's how it goes sometimes, but that's how to play Sundra. Really hope this was helpful, thanks for watching and see y'all next time. GG's.